I used to see ghosts. And he let my brother and I wear makeup after we won all the money at Money Poker with my grandma. We'd roll cigarettes from my grandpa. It was just wonderful. When my grandma was alive, she was a real wonder. We'd come home from school, and she'd ask us if we'd need a cocktail, which was just a glass of 7-Up with a maraschino cherry and a syrup. But I'm telling you, if you needed to debrief after a day in grade three, man, that glass of 7-Up was for real. Then you start rolling cigarettes for your grandpa, three at a time, doing a big long lick. Yes, please. And then you're doing a lot of poker for money, and then you're winning 20 bucks. And then you're going to the Eatons in Huntsville to buy Lego. Because my grandma, who was born in the Depression, was like, you don't go out with this kind of money without being dolled up, which is why we would all go into the bathroom, my brother, me, and my grandma. And we'd just, she'd do our makeup, and then we'd load in with our 20s, and off to buy some Lego. It was the 80s, and God, it was a great time. It was the best time. All right, well, here it is, Autumn City. Where well, you can tell by the wind, fresh cut wood, stacked to dry, the arms feel, and it makes you sad, about the crummy, some new we have, the pine trees creaking, and maybe David is your only choice. in the building ran the heat so it was always bloody hot. Winter, summer, didn't matter. Always hot. So I always had the windows open. Always. So here's the kind of decisions you make when you're in your late 20s. I was going to Australia on tour and I was probably going to go for about six weeks. And I thought, well I definitely want it to be nice and cool in here when I get back so that when I go great to sleep it'll be a match in here. Six weeks later I get back from Australia. And if anybody's ever come home from Australia, it's brutal. It's the worst. It hurt. It aches inside, you're, you're crying, you're sad, you just want to go to bed. Well, I open up the door, and there's hundreds of birds living in my apartment now, and they, they shit on everything. I think they moved in the day after I left, and they've been shitting on everything for six weeks. And, oh yeah, they pooped on everything, on my records, plates, spoons, cups, hot plate, you name it. If a bachelor owns it, they have bird shit on it. And that's what I did. So, I don't know how it worked out in the end. The only part I remember is the devastating memory of walking into hundreds of birds living on all those pipes that made my apartment so cool, you know. It also made it very convenient to shit on all my stuff from above, you know. Anyways, I wrote a little ditty called The City is a Drag to commemorate this because it's sort of a little indictment on Toronto at the time. And I like Toronto. I don't live there. I've been there in like a long time. It's cool, but don't... Don't leave the windows open if you're going to Australia, you know what I mean? Like, close them up. Don't do what I did. All right, here we go. It's killing, killing, killing us. Not easy if it comes to like my dreams. Red, gold, and green. Red, gold, and green. Best part.
the height of these ceilings are, huh? Like four, 16 feet, right? It's probably about 16. I mean, there's a lot of shit around here that's 16. I gotta be. I, when I do my carpentry at home, and it is carpentry, let's not be, let's not be crazy. I am a measure once, cut thrice type carpentry. Yeah, I'm a kind of a, I like to produce a lot of waste on the job site. I like to show up like I have a pile of stuff that should have worked but didn't. I remember I've been a breather on a lot of construction sites in my day, and uh, man, I've messed up a lot of stuff. But that's okay, because now I'm doing the job I was probably meant to do all along. I even they, they thought a simple job was paint, a, paint four doors, blue on one side and orange on the other, and then the job was done, for some reason one of those doors was blue on both sides, you know? It's not my strong suit. Look, I left my windows open for six weeks when I went to Australia, and then hundreds of birds went in and shut on my whole life, you know? You can't expect much from a guy like me. I'm blown away by Christmas trees, by incredible buildings, by things that are 16 feet long, high, big. Anyways, thanks again. Thanks, Danny. I really appreciate this. Take care, everybody. Have a Merry Christmas. I'll play one more day, and then off we go. Let's get on. Strip tease for me, baby. All the ways. 